Mister. I see you have a tail light problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. So oh, can't you give us a break, officer? Well, all right, all right. Sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. Anyhow, no tail light. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Wow. The sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. somewhere else. Why don't you guys leave us alone? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Okay. Get going, get going. All right already.
I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find it. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Look, there's someone at the door. child. I'm not sure the master would approve, or the dog. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. Well, Torgo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. No way out? Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we can... Oh, I, I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I don't know what else we can do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. <laughs> Torgo, in or out? Patient, dear. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. I'll get the, the luggage. Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You we'll... must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs>
see, you're feeling better already. Look at this. the master himself. Oh, Mike, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. show you to the bedroom now. Oh my God! Mike, what was that? Probably some animal in the desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is.
Mike. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? Uh. Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Peppy? You went away, baby. Went away while you were asleep. Mike, I want to leave this place. Now. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Targo! Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it, fast! I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. Tell my husband. Now let me out. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find a thing wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of 
such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's ten miles. Ten miles? Might as well be ten thousand miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. <sighs> the master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave, we can't walk out of here, and the damn car won't start. Hm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning, and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. I hope so, darling. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. Say, where is she? Oh, my God! Michael! Now don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide-and-seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? Debbie! 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 Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. That door's bolted, too. Outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Debbie? 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 Mike, I'm scared. The animals in the desert... Cut it out! <laughs> We'll find her. Don't worry. <laughs> Debbie? Debbie? Yeah, you be a good puppy. It's the dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. <laughs> but you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. I don't want to find my puppy. Where did you find the new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? There was a big, dry place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Get in the bedroom and lock yourself in. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Look! That's all you pretty ones. 
me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. You, you're the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Thank you. 
times do you have to be told? Like, wow. Yeah. Have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. What other couple? Those idiots that went deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. darkness, thou who dwelleth in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. darkness upon thy faithful to live eternally in her keeping. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. And thou who dost curse with eternal burning like those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, holy art thou, holy art thou. Manos will be done. Thy priesthood remains steadfast. Thy priesthood remains constant. Thy priesthood remains righteous. Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us, hear us, for we are faithful, and thou art our God. Arise, my wives, give ear to the words of Manos. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manos. Why has a child been brought here? Why? And a female child at that. Who will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I demand that she will live. It doesn't matter if she was brought here, she must be killed. The child will live, she will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I... I have never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. She must be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, no. and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. If you persist in this foolishness, your usefulness will come to an end. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. To be a woman, and as the oldest of the wives, I demand that she live. I don't know what they're doing here in the first place. You've caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Silence! Silence! And now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. Torgo, he's the one. Get Torgo. You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. 
is a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes, he has no more time for us older wives. Just the newest, huh? Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Die? I may die, but I do not care. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. The law of Manos exists for us only. Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. She must die. When the master hears of this, he will be furious. You are all mad, mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes, the child, no. What are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. My visits? The women have told me. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. And everything you do to them. But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? You are not one of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. But I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Fail you? No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. 
You have failed, and you must die. darkness, as thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Thy will is done. one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. There 
have been enough trouble. Our purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. But the child... We cannot kill a child! Yes, we can! You have caused enough trouble. As soon as we have disposed of Torgo, we shall take care of you. Your power fails you. I have no more fear. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice. Well done, my wives. The will of Manos shall be served. Ceremony is done. Doesn't help 
anymore. <laughs> You're all finished. <laughs> You've said enough. Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others. Go find the others. Hurry, before the night slips away. <laughs> but the window, Mike. I saw him at that window. Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. The gods will destroy you. Your power fails. You cannot endure. Destroy. <laughs> the gods destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy me. I am permanent. Manos has made me permanent. Your power fails you. You are losing your control. Even Torgo defied you. And he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again! Beat! Beat! I do not fear you! No, darling, we'll make it. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. Oh, <laughs> 
No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike, please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. We'll have to go back. Okay. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Girl, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. At this hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondocks. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Hmm.
I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away.